wasn't all that long ago we were talking about what NFL life might be like once you step into the league and here you are going into your second year. What kind of goes through your mind as you step foot back here in Napa where it all kind of began for you? Uh, I'm just thinking how much easier it is than last year. You know, you already know the calls and, uh, you know, you got you got a good group here. So, you know, it's it's been really good. You know, we've been making each other better every day and um, enjoying it. The, the most intimidating part of NFL life when you first step in it, what is it? The most intimidating when yeah. you first step in it? I think <clears throat> sort of the same thing when you get into high school to college, college to NFL. I think the speed of it takes people by surprise um, and how much bigger and stronger people are. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just something you got to play play with like any other thing. Just get it, get experience, get plays down, and you'll be more comfortable with it. How much are you kind of like your own coach in a mind, just in a way, just kind of saying, all right, Colt, this will be, this will feel different in a year. Just wait for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just every day, like, um, just little things, little, little, right after the play, oh, I could, I could be a little bit lower here. And then you try to coach yourself through practice and try to adjust and try to be as sound as, as you possibly can. How do you look back at just your rookie season overall? If you were to assess it and you were to say, you know what, I did this, I did that, just overall, what kind of sticks out? Um, I would just say uh, facing, you know, adversity. Um, uh, I learned more about myself last year um, through struggling and uh, I think that kind of made me a better player um, to be thrown in the fire and and uh, play as a rookie and go against those guys, not only um, going against the top guys every week, but doing it, you know, roughed up. Um, I think that helped, helped a lot in my game. Who's that one guy you can kind of lean on that's like kind of your biggest positive enforcer for you? Um, my biggest positive enforcer? Uh, Rodney. Rodney Hudson, he's, a, he's, he's been great ever since I got here. Um, he's a guy that that's been in the league for a while. It's his, it's his ninth year. Um, and you know, he's been through it all and he always has the right things to say. And he's, uh, he's, he's just a great uh, teammate, um, mentor, great guy. I remember the first time I met you, I thought, well, the, this guy doesn't have to get any bigger. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's always like every, every time, like, the first thing yeah. people talk about is your size when they mention you. Yeah. How, how much bigger are you from a year ago? Um, so last year I was around three, uh, three, 10 or 315 this year I'm in between 325 and 330 so kind of up around there um, it feels feels great I can still move around um, feel a lot stronger um, I can sit down easier it makes the game easier um, but I, I think I'm still gonna get stronger and still get bigger as long as I can still carry it and and run with it I'd, I'll keep doing that. Do you have something circled? You're like, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to be. Uh, it's. I mean, this is like the kind of the heaviest I've been, and I could still move with it. So I, I'm gonna keep on, I guess, pushing that. I, I, I mean, it, it's gonna get, you know, the strength's gonna keep building, and I might, I might weigh around the same, but I'll keep getting stronger, you know, and cutting down. Gotcha. What's it like? <coughs> I mean, you're up near camp, and this is the first time. I don't know if this car go by or this car tractor go by. But... What's it kind of like? Um, this is the first time I've been to a Raiders camp where there's this many guys from our Sacramento Stockton area in in one place. I mean, it, I think a couple years ago we had like four. Now there's like five or six. Westbrook's just came through. I mean, just what's it like to have all these familiar faces on this team? Uh, I mean, it's great. It makes you feel like you're you're still home, and uh, um, it's it's cool seeing familiar faces. And um, I'm so glad that camp is here in Napa because off days I can go to Alameda or Roseville for the day, see family and, and head on back, which a lot of guys, you know, they, they can't do. They're across the country. So I feel fortunate, you know, that in that respect, being close to home. So, um, yeah, it's cool. When Colton Miller relaxes and chills, what's to get away from football and kind of clear the mind, what, what, what's that activity like? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, you know, just trying to get away from football anyway, like, uh, you know, watch uh, movies, uh, grabbing dinner with the O line, um, just keeping football out, just getting a break, changing your environment up. Yeah, yeah. It's so unique because you're here in your second year, and all of a sudden Hard Knocks is around, and they're around you guys all the time. Oh, I know. I asked you a minute ago, <laughs> do you feel like a reality TV star yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even in meeting rooms, there's there's cameras up, and they they'll like they'll move. <laughs> it, it's different. I mean, it, I've adjusted now, but. Um, yeah, it's definitely different. I'm not not used to cameras being around all the time. Yeah. You know, yeah. Do you just choose to kind of embrace it, and maybe have fun with it, or is it something where you're like, man, I wish it is kind of a distraction? Uh, I mean, no, they they don't get in the way too much. It's uh, guys guys like it. They 
coaches are a little bit louder. Now they, they, they still, now <clears throat> Hard Knocks coaches, they're still the same coaches. They're not, they, they just may be a little bit more boisterous. But, but everything you see in Hard Knocks is pretty accurate. I know that Gruden, because he, you know, he's obviously been here for so long with the Raiders before, and then he was gone. He became this TV star and this, you know, commentator, and everyone loved him. And he's kind of a, a caricature that people imp impersonate all the time. And I, I'm amused. I'm always amused by him. Yeah. Is it the same for you? Do you ever get kind of amused by the way his actions are? Because he's a unique individual. No, yeah, he. I mean, he definitely surprised me last year. Um, just how intense he he was in all his meetings. Uh, um, you definitely see the Chucky side in him for sure. You don't want to be calling yeah. that glare, right? No, the yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good friend. yeah. Now uh, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit here. I know I've been told you're a ranch connoisseur. A ranch connoisseur. Yeah, and since you're from Sacramento, I need to know where the best place to get ranch. Oh, uh, um, burger places. There's a spot in the fountains I like. Um, I can't think of the name. It's it's right next to Whole Foods. It's in that area. Um, there's there's that one they have a, like a good cheddar cheddar cheese and Mumu's Mumu's overall in Rockland okay very solid very solid I was I was very surprised I had the strawberry milkshake with uh, I think it was like a like a California burger with like an egg in it and they had these beer battered fries uh -huh. and they had this fat sauce and ranch so that it's paired well. Yeah, it's, it's just a great, great meal. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably like my new new my new burger spot is Boo Moose in Rockland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What uh what makes like a ranch dressing just like what's your tip like what's the one I mean I've had like I mean just I thought that was a good ranch dressing. Like adding like a little sharp cheddar or something like that gives a little bite after. Right. I think that's just and and some extra bite to it, you know. Here we are in wine country. We're talking about ranch. <laughs> that's a little different. Yeah. Um. Final couple for you. What what in your mind for the season would just how do you would you define success this year? Success. Um, I mean, it can't always just be Super Bowl or bust, right? Right. Uh, I think you can't look too broad broadly. Um, I think you just have to try to just do your job every down, and um, you you focus on that down, and don't let the the, the last down affect you and. You do that for games, and when you build up a season, at the end of it, hopefully you have a, a great season. I know I'm not going to hear you talk bad about the quarterback, but you guys always, an offensive lineman always has a great relationship with the quarterback. How, what kind of is that relationship like with Derek, and how easy does he make it for you? Uh, Derek, Derek is the best. I mean, if you've ever talked to him, you would fall in love with, with, with him. He's, uh, he's so positive and um, so genuine. Um, he's just always like, you know, giving you that little pep Pep in the before practice or on the side, like he, great, great leader. I couldn't ask for more from him. Yeah. Now yeah. that you're an NFL player in the league and you're established there, you're getting kind of your roots now. Uh, what's the best perk that comes along with being an NFL player? The best perk? Yeah, that you've experienced. Hmm. I, I would just say all the stuff we yeah. got. Um, last year we got a, um, a certificate to sleep number. Um, it was a like a ten thousand dollar gift card for. For uh, for bed, so I gave that to my parents, and of course we have bows and and um, uh, and lift lift. They give us credits, so I, I think just those little perks that I can use outside of football. Yeah. And then uh, when you think about um, Madden coming out, have you seen yourself? Do you know what it looks like? Have you seen the rating? What the what the description <laughs> of the athlete looks like? Um, I, I saw my brother playing it. He had me out at tight end, actually, which I thought was it's was not interesting. Bad. Yeah. Not bad. But I was like, oh wow, that that kind of does look like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that process like when they put all that stuff on you to get the the imagery? Um, that that I did, uh, I believe, during the combine. Yeah, I did I did that during the combine, and they did like a face scan and. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty soon I think they'll be able to just do it like off a camera or something. They take a picture and they'll be able to get your face. Do you ever play it? Do you still play it or do you kind of leave no, it? No, I, I mean, I, I stay away yeah. from sports. I'm like a more shooter. shooter yeah. I'm looking forward to the new Call of Duty game. Yeah, I'm down with that too. I got a pre-order. <laughs> that was that was my my thing back, Call of Duty 4. Yeah. Now that they're remastering it. We'll see if the NFL doesn't work out. You can always do you know e-games and e-sports and join that league, the Call of Duty league. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, and then finally, do you happen to see Jeezy out here? I know Tyler was kind of pissed you didn't see him. 
What's that? He didn't believe me that Jeezy was out here today. Did you see him? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, he went into the shed, bro. You guys are Oh, there. wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to Love see you, too. Summer.